Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at how to terminate our while loops from our program. So in the last video uh, we saw an example of a non-terminating while loop. So a loop that just keeps going forever, an infinite loop. Uh, in this video we're going to make it actually terminate. So let's start by, here I've got a new, I've got a new project which I've called loop conditions and I'm going to I'm going to recreate a while loop. So it's worth typing this a few times yourself so you get into the swing of typing it. Let's write while true, open a curly bracket, and then make sure the curly bracket's closed. And let's output a system.out.println. Hello. I'd strongly recommend typing this out several times because it will really help you. You've got to sort of memorize these constructs but not by just looking at them and thinking, but rather than by, by typing them a few times. That really helps. Okay, so um, what we'll do here is above the while loop, and it's really important that we do this above the while loop, I'm going to declare an integer variable. I'm going to call it int counter, and I'll set it equal to zero to start with. Let's output the counter in our system.out.print a li print line. Um, in fact, uh, let's write in here, well let's use print printf just for some practice using it. So here instead of hello I'm going to write counter colon just for some text and then I'm going to put percent %d and then let's finish it with a backslash n to create a new line after each time this, is, this runs. So that the first argument is this string with a format specifier in it, percent %d. And after that, I'm going to write comma counter. All right, so if we run that as it is, we're just going to see zero printed over and over again. So let's look. Terminate it with the red button there. So it just says counter zero. But now within the loop, I'm going to go underneath where I wrote system.out.printf and I'm going to say counter and I'm going to assign a new value to counter so I want to use the assignment operator and a new value is going to be the original value counter plus one. So now every time the loop goes round it'll give this new value to counter and the new value will be the original value with one added to it and that's going to mean that the counter is going to increase one by one. Let's run it. And we can see we've, we've now got huge values very quickly being output here. You might have a lower value if your computer's a bit slower. If you've got an even faster computer than me, you're going to get more numbers being output there, probably. All right. Um, we can use this to terminate our loop. And by the way, this is not the only way we can do this, but... Uh, for the moment, we'll, we'll leave it at this because it's already quite puzzling by itself. Uh, it's, it's not an equation, remember. We're literally saying, okay, take, take this value. So it's best, really, in a way to read it from right to left. So we're saying, take counter, whatever the value is, add one to it. And then we're going to assign that, va that value back to the variable counter. So if counter is zero, we add one and we get one. And then we assign the value one. Well, didn't mean to do that. We're going to assign the value 1 to the variable counter, so counter is now 1. That's why it's incrementing like that. That's why it's increasing. We can use that to terminate the loop if we change this to while counter less than 10. All right, so this is a less than symbol. And what this is saying is do the loop while it's true that the value of counter is less than 10. All right, so uh, I'm going to make some more remarks about this in the next video. But for now, just type this out. And even if it's puzzling now, it will gradually start to make sense. But typing is really, you know, it's almost like 90% of the challenge in a way because you type these and you become familiar. And gradually, I suppose the thing is it, it's a lot easier to understand a program if it's already in your memory, if you already remember what the program looks like, it becomes a lot easier to understand it than if you're also struggling to remember what different bits it has. And when you type it out, 
that forces you to pay attention to every single character in the program, and that really helps. So you notice here we've got a semicolon. You could easily forget that, easily forget these semicolons, but by typing them over and over again, you just get used to putting them in. You remember that they're there. So typing is typing programs and running them, it's, it's really, really important. So now if we run this, we see in the console, we can actually make this console bigger if I drag it up. We've got counter 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, so we've got 10 iterations in total. So there's 1 to 9, but there's also 0. So we've looped 10 times. And we carried on looping as long as the value of counter was less than 10. So when it was equal to 10, what happened was uh, the program said, OK, while 10, because counter eventually equaled 10, is less than 10, do the loop. And it said, well... It's not true that 10 is less than 10, so I'm not going to run this. So if, when this is true, if, if while finds that this condition is true, so that the counter is less than 10, it will run what's ever in brackets once, and then it goes back to the beginning and checks the condition again. And if it's still true, it runs it again. Eventually here in this program, it's finding that this condition is not true, and then it just does nothing. Then your program carries on to the lines after the while loop. Don't puzzle about that too much. For now, the important thing is type this out and get it working. And if you want a little challenge, try to write a program that outputs, let's say, the word hello or whatever you like exactly five times, no more and no less, exactly five times. Uh, you could also make it output some number. But you, you don't forget you're going to need this in order to stop the loop. To stop the loop, you need that, and you need that. And you also, another place that beginners often go wrong is they put this variable declaration and assignment to zero, that in initial variable declaration, they put it inside the loop, so inside these curly brackets. And if you do that, counter will always be zero, and it will never stop running. You've got to have this outside the loop, you use it in this condition, and very important, um, you increment it, which means increase it, basically, within this within this bl block. And that's where your system.out is also going, or system.out.printf in this case. So try that for yourself, and then try to create a program that outputs some text exactly five times, just for an exercise. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.